there everybody, Chris from Orlando here, and today it's the first of a brand new series, Fantasy Imagineering, where I take a look at some of Disney's missed opportunities and talk about how I do them better because, well, I have a YouTube channel and that means I know everything, right? Today we're looking at Stitch's Great Escape, widely regarded as one of the worst attractions of all time. Stitch was the first attraction I worked at as a cast member, and you can hear all about that by clicking the eye up in the corner now. Uh, please excuse the general quality of that video. It was my first, but yet somehow still my most watched video. Oh lord. But if you're just here for this video, let me give a brief summary of what it was like. Now let me have a crack at it, Imagineering. And before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss any behind the scenes theme park videos. So the thing with this being fantasy imagineering is that I don't have to worry about money or legal stuff when putting this together. But I will try to keep things in the realm of possibility. For example, I would have just kept extra terror terrestrial alien encounter, but the bosses are demanding a stitch so in that building, so I'm gonna keep it within the confines of that building. The first room where you receive your briefing from the Grand Councilwoman and Captain Gantu, I'd actually keep the same. In terms of setting up the story of you being the new security guards for the Galactic Federation, I think it did its job well. The only change I would make is Gantu and the Grand Councilwoman get called away for a very important meeting before they send the guests into the next room. So in the original version of the next room, you meet Sergeant C4703 PK2704-90210. However, in this pitch, uh, sorry Sarge, but you're getting replaced. I love this guy, but there's one other character I like to see in this position instead. It's your pal of mine, Wendy Pleakley! <laughs> Am I just pitching this because of the cult-like meme culture we had around him when I was working there? Probably, but I still want him there anyway because if we're going all in on Stitch, we might as well go all in with all the characters, right? Pleakley is working admin in this version of the show. So he can explain the different types of prisoners to the guests, including teleporting Skippy, the one out and out referenced alien counter I'm keeping, to their appropriate cell. However, during this scene, Pleakley accidentally teleports in a prisoner into the briefing chamber he wasn't supposed to. Dr. Jumba! Yeah, remember him? The guy who actually created Stitch? I would have him show up to essentially hype the eventual arrival of his ultimate creation, Experiment 626. <laughs> I am so sorry for that accent work. Gantu then comes on over the comms to get everyone into the actual show chamber. And now, the main event. Make or break time for this pitch and this series as a whole. The Chamber. So the first question I ask myself is, do I want to lean into the kid-friendly or the scary? Because if you remember from the original, one of the many problems was it tried to get the best of both worlds and failed miserably at both. And because it's Stitch, I'm going to lean more into the kid-friendly. I would keep most of the original teleportation sequence in. The same flickering lights, alarms going off, lasers and stuff all over the place really lean into the special effects show vibe. The only difference is Edson Gecko and Gambit freaking out while Gantu, who already knows what's coming in, not taking it seriously because Stitch is so cute and fluffy! I need to stop doing these voices. After a couple seconds of Stitch analyzing the cannons, the Stitch and Cannon animatronics I'm keeping, by the way, because they're amazing! Gantu gets bored and goes to have a talk with Jumba to see if he's actually trolling them. Stitch will then spit on the audience, causing smoke canisters to go off on certain seats to simulate explosions, at which point the chamber goes dark. But not fully. Because we're going to try to lean more into family-friendly fare, with this chamber, it doesn't go fully dark, but more like a dim light. There was actually a setting when I worked there that was actually chamber lights dark, but the work lights above the chamber were on, and that would be perfect for what I'm going for. 
Bright enough to hopefully keep kids from freaking out, but dark enough that we could play with the audience still. First thing is have Stitch run around the chamber with a series of air bursts around people's legs to simulate him running by, starting from one side of the chamber to the other. I would upgrade the seats so that a different series of events would happen depending on where you sit. Some seats could be rigged to make it feel like he's sniffing the back of your neck, give you a lick, maybe even tickle your sides. The whole time you can see the silhouette of Stitch at different positions in the chamber, crawling around, messing with wiring, etc. Oh, and how could I forget the most important part? NO FREAKING JELLY DOGS! Seriously, that one change probably solved like 90% of the problems with the show. At this point, Gantu has returned and sees the commotion going on and orders for more guards to report to the chamber. At which point, a cast member dressed like an alien guard will show up in the theater to check things out. Uh, think Sweetums at Muppet Vision 3D for an example of what I'm thinking. There will also be another cast member up in the catwalk, shining a flashlight down into the audience when he suddenly announces that he found Stitch! who proceeds to spit on the guard, and the audience again, a kid-friendly version of the mechanic's blood from Alien Encounter, which caused the cannons to shoot up at the rafters, causing a fireball. The cast members clear out as the lights go down again, with Stitch bouncing on the guests, having tricked the stupid heads once again. Stitch then stops at your seat, gives you a couple sniffs, and goes, nah, la I'm 28 years old, what am I doing? With one last big jump, he jumps back onto the teleporter and teleports to Hawaii, not Florida. We don't need Stitch trolling Cinderella. As the guests are leaving, Gantooth, Grand Councilwoman, and Pleakley can be heard discussing plans to go to Earth to retrieve 626, setting up the events of the movie. And that's how I would have done Stitch's Great Escape. Do you like it better than what we got? How would you have done it? And what other rides or shows should I redo in the future? Leave all that in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to Chris from Orlando for more awesome theme park videos. I'm Chris from Orlando. And seriously, everything is better with more Pleakly. Take care, y'all. One love. Don't hurt nobody.